by only hitting three golf balls, I'm gonna show you how you can hit your iron shots more consistently than ever before. It's that easy. Number one, ball position. It's the thing that a lot of players completely neglect. They'll just kind of set up to the golf ball with no real meaningful um, application of where they're gonna put the ball in relation to the feet. Top tip, when you set up to the golf ball, put the club behind the ball first. That's number one thing to do. And put your feet close together. Now, if you're using a high lofted iron, pitching wedge or any of your wedges, you wanna take equal steps with your feet. So that ball position is absolutely in the middle. If you're then using mid irons, you wanna take a slightly smaller step with your front foot and a slightly wider step with your right foot. So that ball position is just in front of center. And then finally, if you're hitting long irons, an even smaller step with your left foot, slightly wider with your right, so that ball position is even further front of center. Ball position is important because you wanna have that consistent relationship where the club is gonna hit the ground. I'm in a nine iron here, so this ball position is gonna be right in the middle of my stance. I'm making sure that I'm being quite you know, precise with that, practice it, get used to it, video yourself, get your friend to take a picture of you, of you when you're setting up to the golf ball, so you know that golf ball is in the middle. And when you practice, practice it being in the middle as well. Number two, distance away from the golf ball. Again, this is where if you are inconsistent, Sometimes you might be stood really close to the golf ball. Other times you might be stood too far away. You've got to try and find a consistent way of setting up the golf ball so that you're comfortable and you repeat that process every single time. So like before, we've got our club behind the golf ball first. That's really important. You want to build everything around the club behind the ball first. Then you can take your grip. Then you can take your stance, which we talked about a minute ago with the ball position. And here, it's a great time to check that your arms are almost straight down and you've got this nice gap between the club and your legs. I'd recommend the hand width, almost stretching it from my little finger to my thumb. We've got that nice gap. If we get too close, you've got to make an adjustment. Like I'm way too close to the golf ball there and I'm, end up, I'm going to end up hitting the wrong part of the club. If I'm stood too far away, like all the way over here, I've got this massive gap now. Again, to hit that golf ball in the middle is going to be very hard. And to repeat this all the time is going to be near impossible. Club behind the ball first, feet together, take your stance, and you're looking for your arms to drop naturally from your shoulders, so they're almost pointing straight down. And then last point, number three making sure when you hit your irons, you wanna hit the golf ball first and then the ground after. You wanna take that divot after the shot. I would say the most inconsistent movement of a golfer is when they come to hit their irons, the body, almost the middle of the body here, starts to move backwards. And as soon as you start moving backwards, you're gonna hit the ground and even if you don't hit the ground, you're gonna end up thinning the shot. I want you to practice this and make, get really good at this. As you're coming into the golf ball, make sure the middle of your body is moving around your front foot, around your left foot. Have that motion of your body moving towards the target as your hips twist towards the target. That way, you're gonna hit the ball first and then the divot after. So unbelievably important, like ridiculously important this. You watch all the best players in the world, they all have different swings, all have funky motions, but they will not lean back as they hit an iron shot, I promise you. So make sure your weight's moving to the left so that you hit the ball first and then that ground afterwards. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. There's three simple ways you can hit way more consistent irons. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.